Hi, I'm Vicar Joel. Welcome to this week's Recharge video. Our verse for today comes from Acts chapter 18. Uh, it goes like this. And the Lord said to Paul one night in a vision, Do not be afraid, but go on speaking. Do not be silent. Now, if you can see this, if I can show you here, uh, these words stood out to me in part because they're in red letters. My, Bob, my Bible is one of those Bibles that puts all of Jesus's words in red letters. And so the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are filled with red letters. The, the whole page is pretty much red. Uh, but when you leave the Gospels, it's pretty surprising to see these red letters once again, especially this far into the book of Acts. We're now in the 18th chapter, and Jesus ascended back in chapter 1. And so it's it's surprising as we, as readers of Acts, to suddenly have Jesus' words once again now being spoken to Paul in a vision. You know, it's also really fascinating that this happened to Paul. You know, this sounds much more like an Old Testament prophet receiving a vision from the Lord. You know, uh, they Old Testament prophets would receive a vision from the Lord, and then their prophetic mission would be to share this vision with the people of Israel and Judah. But this vision that Paul receives is a bit different. This vision... That Paul receives isn't a new word, a new vision to share with the people, but it's actually just encouragement to keep sharing the same message. It's Jesus encouraging Paul to keep spreading the same word that he had been. Keep telling of Jesus's life, death, and resurrection. Keep urging people to repent of their sins and trust in the good news of Jesus. And this fits with what the author of Hebrews talks about prophecy and, and Jesus. That right at the beginning of the book of Hebrews, the author writes, Long ago and many in various ways, uh, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Unlike the Old Testament prophets, Paul doesn't have a new word from God, but he has a calling to continue sharing that same word of God that Jesus spoke. He's called to continue teaching what Jesus taught, to keep forgiving as Jesus forgave, and keep promising Jesus' return, just like Jesus had promised. This calling to continue spreading the word of Jesus, this calling didn't end with Paul. It's still our job now, today, as the church. We are God's people on earth. We have heard this amazing story of what Jesus did on earth, and we believe Jesus' promises that he is the only way, the truth, and the life. So when we hear Jesus encouraging Paul through this vision, well, we can hear this encouragement for ourselves too. Do not be afraid, but go on speaking. Go on sharing this word of God. The world desperately needs this word of God. The world needs to hear something that will last and give them peace that passes all understanding. The world needs to hear of this Jesus who loved so freely to even give up his entire life. And so I'll end this video with a couple of questions uh, for you to continue thinking about this mission that now is part of everyone who is a part of the church. That we are all called to do this mission of sharing God's word. What, what often stops you from speaking the word of God to people? Jesus told Paul to not be afraid. So what fear might be stopping you? And how might people's lives be different if they heard this word of Jesus spoken to them? If they heard you tell the story of Jesus in a new way that showed them how their lives fit into this whole story of Jesus, and they got to see Jesus' love for them, how would their lives be different? Well, thank you for watching this Recharge video, and God's blessings on your week.